Michael drops the beat's name for its radio station, Zombie Air Power returns from the dead, and Luke Miani predicts A14 and A14X performance, and it's insane. This is the Apple Daily. This is the Apple Daily where I round up the day's news, leaks and rumours at 12 UTC. I'm Dave for living on an iPad and if you love Apple news, hit the like, subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss a thing. Apple drops the Beats name from Beats 1. It was rumoured a few months ago by John Prosser that Apple would be dropping the Beats branding from its headphone line and switching them all over to an Apple style. Apple has taken another step in that direction yesterday by rebranding their Beats 1 radio station as Apple Music 1 and also adding Apple Music Country and Apple Music Hits, adding two new radio stations to their streaming service. While this is unclear whether that means Beats as a brand is on its way out, it doesn't look good for the brand, especially with the over-ear headphones coming with Apple branding too in the near future. From my point of view, I would be surprised if they do drop the Beats brand entirely, and the main reason for that is people that use Android phones. There are real Android fans who wouldn't be seen dead using Apple branded headphones, whereas the Beats brand is very cool. I think it would be a mistake for them to drop the Beats branding entirely, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Zombie Air Power returns from the dead. What seems like 10 years ago, Apple announced a product called AirPower, which was a wireless charging mat that you could just drop your Apple devices onto, your Apple Watch, your iPhone, AirPods with a wireless charging case, and it would automatically start charging them wherever they happened to be sitting on this mat. The secret behind it was that there were multiple coils hidden underneath the mat itself, which all overlap, and the software would intelligently choose which coils to power and which coils to switch off. That would mean whichever location your device was on the mat, it would automatically charge regardless. For a little while, every single keynote seemed like the one that AirPower was coming out, but finally Apple removed AirPower from their website as a coming soon item. This was thought to be due to overheating because of the multiple coils overlapping. However, in the past few days there have been multiple rumours from different sources uh, speaking about an AirPower Mini and an AirPower Mac, which would, I, I assume, be a single coil charger and a multi-coil charger as before. This ties in well with the iPhone 12 rumours which show a magnet ring in the back of the iPhone. So perhaps rather than having multiple coils, Apple has decided to go with a magnetic ring which automatically locates whatever is charging onto the charger correctly. It's thought we may see the first air power towards the end of this year with the larger version coming in 2021. YouTuber Luke Miani predicts incredible performance for the A14 and A14X chips. Let me just say first, Luke Miani is one of my favorite YouTubers. His channel is built around finding amazing bargains on eBay and upgrading older Macs, and I really love that. This is still a 2013 iMac that I'm using here. That's my main editing rig. Luke has taken all the data from the Apple A series silicon chips in the past and extrapolated out based on the rumors that we've got for the A14 and the A14X and the performance is pretty stunning. So the A14 will pretty much be in line with the A12X in the previous line of uh, iPad Pros and the A14X chip which we're expecting to see in probably some of the Apple Silicon stuff or maybe a tweaked version of it scores way up at nearly seven and a half thousand. That puts it in line with an i9-9880H which I'm told is a really fast processor. I'm not an Intel guy, I don't know much about the specs. However, it's a very high-end laptop or maybe desktop uh, PC chip. What does that mean? That means we can expect really great performance from the next iPads Pro and also amazing performance from the Apple Silicon that we've got coming. The developers have already said that the Apple Silicon that they have now is running the code faster than a uh, comparable Intel chip, even when it's translated content that's not been optimized. So Apple Silicon and the future for Apple Silicon is looking pretty bright. What do you think about the stories in today's show? Let me know in the comments and let's continue this conversation over on social media. Find me on Living on iPad on all of the social media platforms and I will see you tomorrow.